shut up compressor. Hey everyone, Matt here with Duke's Models coming to you live from the coronavirus apocalypse. Now it's been two weeks or so since I've been uh, social distancing, self-isolating, all that kind of stuff, and really haven't been able to get out to uh, any sort of hobby shop or anything like that. But thankfully, uh, shipments still arrive, and today something showed up that is going to make me uh, take a quick break from the P47M to have a bit of fun testing. And that is Ammo's one-shot transparent primer. Now, <laughs> um, as someone asked me on Facebook, what's the point of transparent primer? And my answer was uh, to prime things, clearly. Gotta, gotta love dad jokes. Uh, anyway, for, for those in the know, Ammo One Shot is basically Badger Steinle res. It's even, I believe it's produced by Badger Steinle, or by Badger. Uh, if you look on the back of the label, it even says made in the USA, which is weird for a Spanish product. Um, so the going theory is if it says One Shot, it's, a, it's Badger Steinle res with that kind of formula. But Steinle res doesn't make a clear version um, and honestly for all my dad joke um, you know blitheness aside I really can't even think of the point of a transparent primer it seems pretty silly uh, but here we go now the reason I purchased this and the reason I want to try it out is I've said for quite a while I love Steinle Res as a primer I think it's great um, it's pretty much the only acrylic primer I will use and it has a lot of great properties to it. And one thing I wished and I thought would be a home run for them would be if Badger 2 were expand Steinle Res into a line of clear coats. So semi-gloss, I don't know if they could pull off gloss, but like semi-gloss, uh, semi-matte, dead flat, you know, that kind of thing. They could knock it out of the park. And so when I saw that this transparent primer popped up, I thought, hmm, you know, I wonder if this could do that. I wonder if this could be like an actual tough, sandable, self-leveling acrylic clear coat uh, that can withstand oils and can withstand damage and all, you know all that kind of stuff that a lot of acrylic clear just really can't take so with that um i think i'm gonna go ahead and shake this up for 20 30 minutes like steiner res likes to do usually uh through some shaker balls in there so it'll be getting going and then we will pull out the where did it go the fun paint and decal mule that we've been using for the jug build. And we'll spray some of the shit all over it and see how it does. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I just loaded some of the stuff into the PS290 and honestly, it looks like oat milk. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping this is one of those things where it means it will dry clear when it goes down. Otherwise, we've just got like a kind of white primer thing going on. So we're going to follow typical Steinle Res protocol. High PSI. Spray it on hard and wet and let it self-level. So here we go. We're going to let that sit for a few minutes. We'll spray the outside of this too, just so we can get a couple different looks at it. Got a piece of basically variously treated K colors metallic. So we're going to put some on there too. Hmm. 
my hose, you damn drawer. There we go. And then just for grins, uh, I want to see what this does on bare plastic. So we're going to go with the, the wing tip out here. So that's some stuff. Now after just a couple of minutes, it's still wet. So I'm going to pause and we're going to come back and see how it's looking in a few minutes. Okay, so I've given the one shot about 10 to 15 minutes to kind of dry out and all that stuff. I've cleaned out the airbrush and now it's time to take a look at the results that we've gotten. So I'm going to do this in reverse order. First, we've got that bare stretch of styrene that we sprayed. You can see it's still a little bit wet right in there, kind of along that that rib, but other than that, it looks just like the fucking plastic. So, yeah, no discoloration, nothing like that. All the details seem perfectly preserved, etc., etc. It basically seems to be behaving exactly like Steinal Res, except it's clear. Turning it over, remember we sprayed basically this leading edge of the wing here, and it definitely knocked the sheen out of it, but it didn't really discolor it. You know, if you kind of hold it back here, it's it's not as metallic. It's not as reflective, obviously, but that's, you know, it, it honestly looks like a nicely oxidized aluminum. I mean, it's still got a little bit of that sheen going on. It's got some of that variation when you turn it in the light. It catches it in weird ways. But that's some of what we baked into the K colors when I sprayed this originally anyway and it just shows up quite nicely there. So if you want a really worn bare metal, something like, you know, a Russian MIG that's seen better days or a, you know, hard charge in a P47 that was in bare metal and got nice and filthy, uh, something like that might be in order. Now let's go on to the fuselage of the paint mule. So back here, remember we sprayed basically after this line, and I won't say it's an ungloss, uh, it's still got a little bit of reflectivity to it, but it's almost like the K-Colors XW10 military mat. So it's like, you know, on a scale of one to, or one to 100 with one being dead, suck all reflectivity out of it flat, and 100 being totally glossy, yeah, this is about a 10. Um, it's got a little tiny bit of sheen, but not much. I mean, you know, look at it compared to the what's going on over here on this side. This is just nice and flat. Now when we come over here, you can see the exact same thing going on because we sprayed basically, you know, this, this area right in here. And yeah, it's, it's flattened out nicely. It's smooth. Uh, it reminds me of maybe a slightly not quite as flat GX113. And that is a really fucking useful thing to know, to be honest. Um, that means that this stuff might have potential as a very good non-destructive final not quite dead flat clear coat. Um, which is really, really nice. Uh, it also might have potential as a way to really effectively hide decal film. I mean, because this thing, you know, even though, let's get a little bit closer here, focus. Um, even though it didn't suck into the, the surface details the way that I would like, where the fuck did the carrier film go? It's just gone. Um, you know, it still shows up a little bit here on the 421195, but you really got to look for it. And then the ones where we had the weird ass silvering and adhesive issues and stuff like D and N. Um, yeah, you can definitely see it there. But like on the 670, not a trace. 
on this 421195 right here. Also, not much of a trace. I mean, maybe a little tiny bit. But that is a really nice, mostly flat. Okay, so I'm gonna hit pause here and swing the camera around. Okay, so what can we take away from this little escapade? Well, I still don't see the point of a transparent primer. It just seems really silly to me. I still definitely see the point of a Steinol Res style clear coat. And holy shit, does this stuff, at least so far, uh, fit the bill for that. I mean, you know, the, the finish that it got on the front of the jug here and on the back is great. I mean, it's it's mostly flat. It's basically the kind of flat, but not quite entirely lusterless that you would want on a military aircraft, maybe not armor. And I mean, honestly, on this wing even, like that's a really good looking oxidized aluminum. Probably one of the better recreations of it I've seen if you want to get, you know, really push the boundaries and go that far with it. Um, yeah, I mean, holy shit. <laughs> like, it's really hard to capture it in the light to where you can really see it very well. But I mean, it's got, it re main maintains just enough reflectivity to be really, really good looking and also really dull and weathered at the same time. That's crazy. So, um, I think my hopes for this have basically been fulfilled. Um, I was looking for a, you know, nice, tough acrylic clear coat that could hide decal film, all that kind of shit, act the way a clear coat should without the risk of cooking the paint or the decals underneath, um, without the risk of spraying like absolute shit and beating up and drying weird. And the thing I like about Steinol Res is pretty much no matter how you spray it, it's going to level out with whatever miracle unicorn piss it has in it and look perfect after 15 minutes. And this stuff, at least so far, exact same. And it handles, I mean, it feels the same in the airbrush, um, sprays the same, which, which is really shitty. Um, and so far it's setting up the same. So I'm assuming all the same stuff applies. Like I, I assume that when all is said and done, this stuff will be something that you can kind of hit with a buffing wheel to shine up a bit if you want to. Um, it will be maskable, it will be sandable, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, color me impressed. Um, I will definitely be giving this more than one shot to throw out another damn dad joke. So, that's that. Back to the jug. <laughs>